have our Bears Madness. That's our March Madness. If you remember last year, did the same thing, 1 through 16 for the ninth pick. The second pick in the upcoming draft, we're going to have our March Madness bracket set up by our guy Josh Schrock, our Bears mm-hmm. inside. Of course, yeah. we've got Alex Shapiro here, Claire Antonio running the show, broadcasting live from the NBC Podcast Studios, presented by St. Xavier University. Last year was Paris Johnson versus my Jalen Carter. All right. Of course, Paris Johnson went in the draft before the Bears selected, and the Bears selected Darnell Wright. And, of course, Jalen Carter went afterwards. Discussion for another day. All right. <laughs> that was a fun exercise, though. It was. So it, it's great that we're re-racking it. Yeah, no one listened to me on Darnell Wright. Just got completely. Darnell Wright, the 12 just seed. Just got completely railroaded. I feel like we listened. <laughs> just got completely railroaded. I feel like we listened to you. You don't think we listened we to We listened to you. We just. You just went a different way. We just went a different way. I mean, way. when you think about the prospects of what you had right there. You had the guy in Jalen Carter who a lot of people talent wise had at number one in the draft. Yeah. And no, then I, you, I got it. And you had Paris Johnson who if Fashanu or Fashanu was in the draft probably would have been the second. Right. So that's yeah. kind of I think the reason no, why. No, I got it. Just I the quality. It. It's just the quality. Looking forward to seeing who we overruly on this year. No, I'm, Josh. Sure, I'm sure he's already ready. He's got it. He's, <laughs> got, he's got it loaded. <laughs> I'm not he's got it loaded. We'll he's save ready. it for the draft. Yeah, right, Josh, so, let's, 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 right. Josh, please take it away. I can pass the ball. Like yes. Clark, I just get a distribute. All right. Uh let's start. One seed versus sixteen. Let's go. Number one. Uh, the top seed, Roma Dunze, obviously. All throws lead to Rome, hopefully. Ooh. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Like Can that. I stop you real quick? Yeah. Can you break down the seeding for everybody? On, on, so, sure. for instance, since it's the ninth pick, so it's the best value at who will be at nine, or is it the best, or is it the best player regardless at nine? So the top three seeds, I went with the three players I think the Bears would take and not trade down. Okay. And then after that, I went based on need. Thank you. Yeah. Great. So Roma Dunze, wide receiver, Washington's the top seed. Uh, 16 seed, his teammate called Troy Fatano, left tackle. Uh, Ken, take it away. Um, it's easy. Um, Fatano. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think the I think we. I thought, wait, I thought I thought you liked the trenches. You know, you want you want sexy now. Now you want sexy. You gotta, can I cook a little bit? Yeah, all right, go ahead. I mean, can I? I know you're cooking the meal. Can I season it a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. I'm here for that. Um, I'm going with Rome. And I know we'll get into my feelings as far as how deep the wide receiver room needs to be. We can do that a little bit later. I just think with Troy, if the Bears move back, I think that what you just pointed out right. the problem. If I'm staying at nine right now, I'm not taking Troy. Troy will be a guy that if I'm moving back into the teens, I'd be happy if he ends up being the tackle that I end up getting. Yeah. So even though with trenches, I'm still looking at premium talent at nine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So at, if I'm looking at premium talent, it's clearly uh, clearly Romeo Romo Dunze over his, uh, his college teammate. Troy Fondon. Yeah, I have a feeling we're going to talk about Rome a lot more later in this draft, so I will keep it brief. Uh, he's one of those big three. If he's there, it seems like a slam dunk to just pick him and yep. add him to that wide receiver core, so Rome is also my pick. Yeah, no question. I, I like Fontenot. Uh Maybe he might be a guard in the NFL, though. Mm-hmm. He's probably like, what, OT5 in this class, maybe? Yep. So uh, it's not a question. You know I'm a big a big Rome guy. Yeah, it's a it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's common sense on that right. one. 8-9, uh, 8 seed, Olu Fashionu. Left tackle, high school teammate of who? Caleb Williams. Caleb Williams. Caleb Williams back uh, in the Washington, D.C. area. And then the 9-C nine, nine tight end, Brock Bowers. Mm. Um, mm, that's a good one. Let's go, Alex. Uh, you know, Brock Bowers a month or so ago made it have been a little bit more interesting to me as a yeah. great pass-catching tight end. But yeah. with the addition of Gerald Everett, it's like, okay, got Cole Komet in place. You got Gerald Everett in place. Yeah. Tight end, too, isn't so much of a need anymore, but... Fashion is a guy who can come in, probably start right away at left tackle, and now you're looking at Braxton Jones being a yeah. dynamite swing tackle. It's a guy who could be a big, big impact player week yep. one, yep. whereas Brock Bowers, it's like, okay, how are we going to fit you into this right. very big pass-catching group? So I'm going to go uh, I'm gonna go with the left tackle from Penn State. Mm. Um, okay, Bears, new offensive coordinator. We've mentioned this on the last episode. Yep. Or the episode prior to that, Shane Waldron in with Seattle ran a lot of thirteen with three tight ends out there. Yep. Um, you also look at the fact with Brock Bowers, you can split him out a lot. So it, it's more it, just like pass catcher. That's that's yeah, it right, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So and then you could really just look for the mismatch. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Um, it's funny. This is a lot closer than what I think it would be because unfortunately, yeah. Fashion with Fashano, he said it to the, the combine. I think he was Fashion. I'm gonna stick with you with Fashano. Um, I'm probably wrong. I'm dyslexic. Hey, we yeah, me too. <laughs> um, he slipped. Um, I think before it was a question, it, it was closer between him and Joe Alt, and I think it's clearly Joe Alt. 
yeah. over over him. But you know what? I'm still probably gonna have to go with Olu Fashano. Um and I'm a, I'm probably gonna go with at that part. To me, with both of these, it's it's not splitting hairs because I think the trenches is, is a little bit more important yeah. than the luxury of Block Bowers. And then, yeah, I think we hope Shane Waldron is an ex- excellent offensive play caller. Yeah, but there's no reason to bring Brock Bowers in and treat him like Cal Pitts in Atlanta or Arthur Smith. Yeah, you got to know what you're doing with a talent like that. Right. So f- as far as depending on him to come up with schemes to help Brock, I'm gonna, I don't even want to do that right now. Just go get the trench guy to keep whoever the quarterback Caleb Williams clean. Uh, moving in uh, next season. Yeah, th- it's really it's really tough. I love Brock Bowers. He's a yak. It makes sense. He's a yak. Oh, yeah. Get him out in space. Yeah, yeah. you kind of do everything with him. Yeah. And then, I mean, it kind of takes the need of wide receiver at least immediate away. You can just use him in that in that slot role. Specul- particularly yeah, with the receivers know. that you have. That's what I'm saying. It would be yeah. different right. if they just had – like if they had DJ Moore and him, yeah. I think right. – If they hadn't gotten Keenan Allen. Yes. Right. Yeah, yeah. But the, the thing is now I feel as if – that there's less pressure on him, you can exploit him more. Agreed, yeah. Because it's not the same as Especially just having with Everett and Komet. It's not. Yeah. It's yeah. not like having Rome, where okay, you, there's only these positions that you have for the wide receiver. There's a, a lot of stuff you could do with Brock Ton. Bowers, right? You and that's him up in the backfield. Exactly. Yeah, right, so yeah. there's so you can have him as an H back, like you're saying. Yeah. Exactly. And yeah. then no, go go, just yeah. go out to the flat or right, just yeah. do whatever. Take a linebacker one on one. So that's yeah. where it's attractive, but that's we're we're talking like Shane Waldron has to be the man, right? And I don't. I, at this point, I haven't seen enough. It's tough, kind of like shaded by Lou, the Lou Getzey experience. Really, like, you're right. He might not, but then it's may- like Shane Waldron is really. I mean, from all we know, he's really good at what he does. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just giving my token vote to Bowers. I mean, obviously, you guys went with Olu, so he, he advances. But I, I would probably go with Brock. All right. You so regardless, let's just say you had to split. I would go with Brock. Okay. I go with Brock. I think he's an elite pass catching weapon. I think he's going to fall to like the Bengals or someone like that. And they're going to get. They're going to get just. He's going to slide a little bit just because of the positional yeah. aspect of it, and people aren't going to think of him just as a pass catcher. And someone's going to get a that guy's that guy's incredible. Yeah, he's a yeah he's a yak monster. Yes. Um, okay, four versus thirteen. The four seed, uh, Dallas Turner, edge rusher, Alabama. Ken's guy, uh, thirteen seed, my guy, center, Jackson Powers Johnson out of Oregon. Kenneth, that's hard. Take it away. Yeah, it's difficult because yeah. it's, that's nine is too high for a center, even though this guy can right. be viewed as perhaps a generational center. Old Yale versus Auburn matchup here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, honestly. Yeah. Um, so that's it's 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 position, it's need. Um, I'm I'll make this quick. I'll take Dallas Turner because Dallas Turner is viewed as being probably the first or second defensive player off the board. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where with Jackson Powers, he's probably looked at it being the third or probably the fourth O lineman, maybe somewhere around there. Because both of the, the, the t- left, wait, probably. The first interior offensive lineman. Yeah, yeah, yeah the first interior. Yeah, but it'll, but it'll be like the fifth yeah. or sixth all lineman. Exactly. Because they're going to go tackle, tackle, tackle. tackle, tackle. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so right. sure, sure. that's where, unless the Bears move back, that would be extremely high to take a center at number nine. So I'm just going to yeah. go with Dallas Turner because you need a book in. Um, we talked yesterday, I hope the episode is out, with a uh, Hall of Famer, um, Dwight Freeney. Dwight Freeney, thank you. And we were just talking about the need of having that running mate and what Robert Mathis meant to him. You highlighted that a lot during that episode yesterday. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, the Bears do need another edge rusher. They probably need another three-tech also. (laughs) However, I think Jackson Powers Johnson right now, because you're right, it's not going to happen at nine. We're talking JPJ. We're talking about the Bears moving back. We're talking about them adding, you know, more, more picks. And I imagine he'll be in a range where it's like, okay, maybe they've slid several spots back where yeah. they're potentially I'm adding thinking a in the twenties, right? Right, yeah. a solid but second if rounder. If they're at nine, would you take him? No, no, he's not a he's not a pick at nine. Okay, this um, sure, I'll take him at nine. <laughs> wow, I don't care. Love it. Why not? Yeah. And and this is you know <laughs> Coleman Shelton, you know, kind of plugs that hole for now. Ryan Bates not not gonna be the starter. No, you don't think Coleman Shelton's gonna be the starter? Uh, not baby Ryan Mike. Bates? Bates is entering gonna enter camp with uh, leg up. Really, really, baby, baby yeah. Mike Mayock? Really? That's what that's what I'm told. I'm, okay. That's what I'm told. Over okay, track. so that surprises me. So <laughs> when I hear that, that um makes me want to draft Jackson Powers Johnson even more. Uh, <laughs> because you know, we, we have a we have a short term plug. We have a short term competition, but we gotta look long term. Who's gonna be the center for this team for a really long time? Yeah. Who's gonna like be, have that rapport with Caleb Williams for a really long time? Yep. I can I can use that second round pick that I'm recouping in a trade down to go get an edge rusher or a three tech or whatever what have you. I want JPJ who is the best center in this class. Man, I gotta pay tiebreaker. 
I'm going to go with Dallas Turner. Uh, 10 sacks, really good hands. He's got the Brian Burns comp. I'm worried about the, the weight. The edge, edge setting. I don't think he. I don't know if he fits yeah, his scheme. Wait, you, you yeah. wait a year too. Yeah, right, right. that's the other thing. Yeah, Just, you can get on. You can get on steroids, Ozempic, whatever you need to do. Really, oh. really. Not Ozempic. Well, yeah, it's wow. a, it's a, it's a, it's a cocktail. Wow. <laughs> it's a cocktail. Wow. <laughs> Trim the body fat, build the muscle. Okay, right? Is okay. that how it works? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Is that how it works? Yeah, yeah, gotcha, yeah, that new, gotcha, yeah, the new gotcha, Balco. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Get on Instagram. It's all over the place. The Shrock Regiment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yet, but hey. Ozempic and anabolic. I need to PTO anyway, so maybe we'll try it. Uh, yeah, Dallas Turner. So you're not worried about him being an outside linebacker. I will be in the next round. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. I will be in the next round. All right. Round. Okay. Also, I'm not, I love JPJ. I don't know. I don't know if he's a, a scheme fit for what they want to do, really. He's mm. more of a bulldozer. And mm. I don't know. He's what quick. school did he go to? The future national champion, Oregon Ducks. <laughs> Shout out to I'm Lane. pointing it out because he's an alum and he loves his school. So I love Jackson Bauer Johnson. If he's I'm just saying, saying that, like, take yeah. it to heart is yeah. why I'm asking. I'm um, okay. So Dallas moves on. 5 12 matchup. Five seed. Jared Verse, my favorite edge rusher in the class. Uh, 12 seed, uh, the Avenger, Amarius Mims. <laughs> the Battle of the Athletic yeah, Linemen. Yeah, the Athletic. It's not a question for me. It's Jared Verse. Okay. Jared Verse. Uh, Jared Verse? Yeah. yeah not, a, not a question. We'll, we'll, we'll talk we, more next round. I love Amarius Mims, the athleticism, super raw. Right. That, don't know, that's the part. Don't know if he can play left tackle. That's He's going to shift part. Darnell Wright. That's Doesn't make We've already advanced sense. Fashanu also. Yeah. You know, we've advanced a tackle already. I'd probably take. I mean, if they didn't. I probably like Mims more than Fashan just because I think the ceiling's a lot higher. But you don't know if he can play left. Uh, all right, going top. What do we got? Two versus fifteen. Two seed. Another guy. I think the Bears would not trade down, and if he's there, they'll just stick and take him. That's Joe Alt. Uh, don't even ask the question. Go and to, then go to the next one. Fifteen seed is <laughs> Texas receiver Ad Mitchell. Your guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll start with Alex. I don't Joe Alt. Yeah. Joe Alt. Yeah, yeah, Joe Alt. Bra- Braxton, I mean, moving Braxton Jones to swing tackle sounds really good if you can get Joe Alt. Sure, you can get Joe Alt. You can get Joe Alt. Bye. Yeah. yeah, I think I think there's a a thought that the O line is worse than it is. I think Braxton's fine, but Joe Alt is a very clear, That's it. No. Yeah, very clear improvement. Yeah. Uh, all right, moving on. What do we got? Uh, seven seed Texas defensive tackle Byron Murphy against ten seed Oregon State tackle Talise Fuaga, who just reeks of bears. Yeah. I you I can smell it all the way from here. Chris Morgan is just like, mm-hmm. yes. Start us off, Byron Murphy. Okay, I'm gonna go Byron Murphy also, just because. Okay, we have Joe Alt in the mix. We have Olafashano in the mix. Byron Murphy is this three tech who I again I think the Bears need a three tech. He's so disruptive. Him next to Montez Sweat could be really really interesting. I am. Interested in that Joe Alt Byron Murphy matchup coming up next round though. Uh, I'm gonna go. Th- I'd go with Fuaga. Um, I think he just is the complete Bears tackle. He's a bulldozer. He's mean. He's got the quickness. He's got the hands. Um, there's no other reason the Bears would have been in Corvallis for the pro day than to watch Delise Fuaga. Um, yeah, they need a three technique. They used two top sixty picks on it last year. Sometimes you got to take your medicine and see if they're good or not. Sure. Um, so Murphy, yeah. if Fuaga's coming. Are you moving Darnell right to left tackle? Yeah, no, it's a question. It's what they got to figure it that's out. That's what I was. They got to figure exactly it out. Exactly yes. where I was. No, it's going. a question. Yeah, no, it's which is. I think. I think you probably. So now you're I creating think, a problem. Yeah, you're creating a problem. Right. Exactly. That's that's the issue. He didn't learn how to do right. Right. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, okay. So Murphy advances. All right. Three seed. I think this is the last of the three players that the Bears would stick and take and not trade down. That's Malik Neighbors. Oh, definitely. Uh, against 14 seed, Ken's favorite player, Chop Robinson. Uh, all right, Pork Chop, lead us off. <laughs> I will, for the sake of argument, stick with Chop Robinson. <laughs> wow. I would now definitely if they stick at nine, it's Malik Neighbors. Right. They're not taking Chop Robinson unless they move down. What if it's okay, what if it's Malik at nine or Chop and a third round pick? I'm if I love Chop Robinson, but and I'm I've been a huge um Penn State fan. I love Chop Robinson. But there 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 has to be some production. Yep. I mean, talking about four and a half sacks. Right. We're doing a lot on, with projections. Yep. Sounds like the Bears. Does like, sound like the high Bears. High rasp, a lot of projection. I got, you know, you know that, could you be. Know can I interest you in Dominic Robinson? Yeah, could yeah. be. Could be. No, Michael. that's totally no, no, different. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. This guy, Dominic Robinson, was the hot dog vendor. Yeah, the guy, right, in the, yeah. uh, the guy right. with the liquids. Like no, Johnny no, Robinson. No, no one came out like Dominic Robinson could be Michael Parsons. Exactly. Yeah, right, yeah. That part. Yeah, right. right yeah, yeah. Um. So I'm gonna go with. When speaking of high rasp, though, I'm probably gonna go with Malik Neighbors. Yeah. If I'm regardless of what I, my my preference gotta, and gotta, favorite, it's gotta be, it's gotta be, it's gotta be. I, mean, if I na- could just if, see the top like, getting if, blown. Yeah, if off. neighbors is there, which he won't be, but if yeah, he's there, yeah. you gotta stick and take. Yeah, it's unanimous. It's gotta be neighbors. It's gotta be neighbors, easy. 
All right, uh, final matchup of the first round, six seed Latu Latu, edge rusher out of UCLA against who's the eleven seed? Brian Brian Thomas. Thomas. Brian Thomas, LSU. Receiver. Another LSU receiver. Another. That's a that's a tough one. You're up. Okay, me. you went against the Ducks earlier, and now I'm going to go against SC, and I'm going to go with the UCLA guy, Latu yeah. Latu. I mean, he, the medicals scare some people away. Me. At the combine, he was like, I'm good. See. Still me. Sure. See. Yeah, right. Sure. I mean, this is also a guy you're probably moving back and grabbing. Uh, he says the medicals are clear. He's good to go. Yeah. And the production, the pass rush win rate, all of that stuff, the speed, the bend, unreal. This guy just, all he does is beat guys and <laughs> hit the quarterback. Uh, so I'll go with that extremely talented edge rusher. You, I think you get more value with a lot to um, where Brian Thomas, you can look at him as stretching the field, but you already have um, DJ Moore yep. and Keenan Allen and Gerald Everett. So looking at still that you need more on your defensive line, you pointed out you spent a lot of draft equity on three technique yep. last uh, offseason. So, yeah, it's for me it's clearly Latu. Yeah, I think I think Latu might be the best technical edge rusher. Yes. And the hands, yes. the moves are. He didn't incredible. have the neck. The day I didn't have the neck. Yeah, if there was no medical, I would just stick and take him at nine. I would too. Yeah. So yeah, I don't I think it's a question. All right, uh, second round, one eight matchup, Adunze versus Olu. Ken, it's it's um, Adunze because Olu something, is something something trenches something something sexy. Okay, go on. <laughs> no, it's it's still the quality of one. Olu went back. I remember Michael Irvin saying this about uh, um, Michael Williams, I believe, coming out of Texas, going to Detroit Lions, and he said the fact that he went back to school scared him. I'm not saying that everybody go back to school that it, it scares right. me, but the fact that he still isn't a finished product and he went back, right. it, it leaves something to, to be desired. Right. So because of that, even though I'm trenches, if it was Joe Alt, I would take Joe Alt. Yeah. But I'm going to go with Undunze because I think I know what Undunze could do where I'm still kind of trying to predict what Fashanu yeah. may be at left tackle in the pros. Uh, I'm also with Undunze. I mean, the size situation, the deep threat, the verticality, the contested catch, everything he does, he is yeah. incredibly good at it. So – uh you do have to think about a future beyond Keenan Allen, who, you know, if he's here a year, two yeah. years, whatever, like you're going to need to refill that position. You want to yeah. find a wide receiver yep. to play with Caleb Williams for a decade. A Dunze could be that guy. Yeah, I think. I mean, we know my feelings on Rome. I think he's Devontae Adams 2.0. I think he's the best receiver in this class. Give me he's Rome. Devontae Adams 2.0. Give me Rome with Dunze. Okay. Um, all right, what do we got? Uh, Jared Verse against Dallas Turner. <sighs> Ken. This is hard. This is, yeah. Um... I'm gonna go. I want to go with the roll tide and go with Dallas Turner. Jeez, but I'm <laughs> gonna go with Jared Verse. Wait, what? So, wait. so you're gonna go? With you want to go with roll tide, but you're gonna go with Verse. Yeah, yeah, just because I know I, with, with Verse, I'm getting r more run and pass. Where with Dallas Turner, I, I think I'm getting pass, but right now we're unsure of him being able to set the edge and keep it on his side as far as the run game. Yep. I'm also going Jared Verse. I mean, this is a guy who has far more experience playing with his hand in the dirt, which is what the Bears need him to do. Dallas Turner, we talked a little bit about the, are you actually an outside linebacker in a 3-4 yep. scheme? What's that transition to DN going to be like? He did put his hand in the dirt sometimes at Bama, yep. but not like Jared Verse, who, again, as you said, also brings that like run defense thing that we know the Bears want, we know the Bears need. Yep. Jared Verse, fast, strong, scary next to Montez Sweat. Great explosive, athletic, twitchy, lengthy, powerful. Checks all the Bears boxes. Jared versus clean sweep. All right, Joe Alt versus Byron Murphy. I'm going to make this very quick. It's got to be Joe Alt. Joe Alt. It's got to be Joe Alt. I like Byron Murphy. Uh, it's not a question. Once again, you you just got to figure out if Jervon Dexter's got it this year, and if he doesn't, you can go back to the well. You can't use another top 40 pick on a three technique. I'm with you. I will be the dissenting opinion just to argue that, I mean, yes, it doesn't look good to use so many top picks on a three tech, but the Bears are going to need to fill Justin Jones' hole. They're going to need the hole that he left in that unit. And this is a guy who should be a disruptor uh, in the middle of that line. The Bears need a disruptor in the middle of that line. Joe Alt is a slam dunk pick, but I think Byron Murphy would also help the Bears a ton. Regardless, oh, he, oh, he'd help. Regardless yeah. of whether or not Jervon Dexter is ready to start, like you, you want to roll in two waves. You need that second guy. Now you got a bunch of young dudes there. 
I already went. No, Go. No, I know. I know. No, I'm no, just saying, just the, just the no. dissenting opinion. Alt, alt moves right. on. Uh, what do we got? Neighbors versus Latu. Uh, once again, I don't think it's close. It's neighbors. Uh, neighbors. Elite, elite, yeah. elite receiver. And Neck is still. We still got to put right, the Neck yeah, out there. Yeah, I, I like Latu. Yeah, Neck. Is, all right, final four. Uh, Rome versus verse. Look, let's once again make this very quick. Uh, it's Rome. I don't know if you know what reception perception is by Matt Harmon. He uh, does the success rate of each route that a receiver runs. Uh, the only receiver he's done come out of college that is every route is green is Roma Dunze. It matches pretty perfectly with Devonta Adams in the NFL. Mm. Uh, I just think Roma Dunze, he can do it all. I think having him learn from Keenan Allen, DJ Moore is great. And then Keenan Allen, if he's here one, two years, move it along. Roma Dunze is that guy where he's, you know, he is the dude where you are not moving back. Right. If these guys are off the board, we're talking about moving back and right. we're talking about adding, you know, yeah. defensive ends and, People talk about this being a stacked wide receiver class, which it is. I think there's also a lot of solid, solid edge rushing talent yeah. on day two. If the Bears get to early day two, yeah. that they'll be able to find Roma Dunze. I mean, huge impact player. Yeah. It's the fact that we're talking about standing nine. Um, if it was, I don't know, maybe verse, um, I could think about it just off of potential. But when you're talking about, it's Jer not verse if it was Dallas Turner off of potential is what I meant to say if Dallas yeah. Turner had made it. But when you're yeah. saying verse, and I look at verse as being more of a guy that I would want the Bears to take if they had moved into the teens, yeah. I got to go. Even though I want trenches, I got to go with Rome just off of the quality at nine, what I'm getting. So that was a unanimous yeah. vote into the yeah. championship round. Yeah. Quick yeah. question for you. Uh -huh. If Rome's available at nine, would you rather take Rome or move down to 15 and take verse and get an extra pick? <sighs> I probably would take Rome. Okay. It's, I just think yeah. the value no, for me, the best case scenario for my desire is they're gone. Is he's gone? Yeah, he's gone. Yeah. And that way, it forces the Bears to improve the trenches. Can't pass, can't pass on him. Yeah. I mean, he he will likely be gone. I don't think so. I don't know because no, you got to think JJ McCarthy's going and going. Yeah. Yep. And that's going to that's what's going. I think there's a good chance they get one of these three guys are going to be there. Yeah. So Alt Neighbors is the other one. I think it's Alt. Yes. Best so, pass protector. Okay, so let's go through it. So the four quarterbacks. Yep. Uh -huh. Marvin Harrison Jr. One of neighbors or Dunze. One of neighbors or Dunze. Probably, probably Alt. Probably Alt. And then mm -hmm. probably Dallas Turner. Dallas Turner. So one guy. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Alt neighbors. Other one? I think it's Alt. No question. Yeah. I'm going to go Alt. I like neighbors. I think the DJ Moore overlap. I'd rather have Alt. I'd rather have Alt. Yeah. All right. I'll be the dissenting voice again. Uh, I think Braxton Jones if he continues on the trajectory that he has shown over the past two seasons. A ton of faith in Braxton Jones. I'm putting a ton of faith in Braxton Jones. I'm interview. putting a ton of faith in Braxton Jones. I'm still looking at tackle and like. You got a we, guy. I'll get the, I'll the get pedigree of Joe <laughs> Alt. The pedigree of Joe Alt. 6'8". I understand all Notre that. Notre Dame. Pops. I understand all that. See how chuffed Chris Morgan was working with him at Notre Dame Pro Day? Uh -uh. Couldn't be happier. I have. Really? Oh, yeah. I have big time questions about wide receiver three. And I can roll with Braxton Jones, and I know, I know, we're like, we're say big time questions at wide receiver three. But here's the thing: here's I the got thing. problems with left tackle one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't have those same. I'm joking. I don't I'm have those same but issues. I'm, I'm just the qual So real quick, the, if we're talking about our second wide receiver, our first wide receiver, I get it. Yeah, we're now we got an abundance of riches. Where we talking about the third wide receiver? We're still you have, a, but I think, but this, he's projecting forward to correct. Not. To wide receiver one in, or but he's two also in. projecting that this may not be the plateau for Braxton, look, or I'm, we're near look, I'm the with ceiling. You. I don't Here's think, where I I'm think at. If alt's available, you cannot pass. You can't. And, yeah. and Josh is right. Josh is right. I'm looking at Braxton Jones and Darnell Wright. Like I can see a world in which they are my tackles yeah. for yeah. ten years. Whoa. I don't think Keenan Allen is my guy for ten years. Right. Obviously, you think you can get ten years out of Braxton Jones? I mean, I'm using 10 years as an arbitrary number. Long time. I don't mean it as far Long as... time. For the duration of... You get 10 years out of Braxton Jones, they build a statue next to the Lovey statue. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Bra if on. Braxton Jones develops the way the Bears think he can, like, he can be one of Ryan Pohl's best picks. Yeah, Braxton Jones... Fine tackle, not Joe Alt. Uh, championship, Adunze, Alt... Very tough. Uh, I mean, for you, maybe. Not for me. It's Adunze. I would sprint, sprint to turn in the car with Roman Adunze's name on it. I'm going to go Joel. I know you are. I mean, I already picked neighbors over all. So I'm going <laughs> Roma Dunze. So I guess Roma Dunze wins. All wins, and throws honestly, like, lead to Rome. <laughs> I mean, the Bears now have set up and Caleb Drake Williams. Drake made a Roma for, Dunze is going to be sick. <laughs> it will be. That's me, Caleb. I can't. <laughs> no, they have set up Caleb Williams. If, if yeah, they land right. Roma Dunze. Yeah. They Caleb Williams has like. They set him up, they win Joe Alt. 
Either way. Either way. It's a win-win. It's if a win-win. There, if there's a psychotic situation where they're both available at nine, it's a whatever. It's a win-win. But take Rome. I think you got to go with Joe. I mean, to me, if they didn't have Keenan Allen, I'll be all in. I'm You're going to have Keenan Allen for like one or two years. I'm, ext- I'm Two seasons, I'm extending them. Well, you can try. I can find. I should be able to look. Maybe not get the quality of Rome, but if in the next couple of drafts I fixture the second round and try to look for a good receiver, I think I maybe I'll find someone close enough to go with DJ Moore down the road. I'm just putting out that. But yeah, how cool. often can you get a left tackle? I don't know they seem to be available every every draft. Really? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. <laughs> all right. Especially well, if you the Bears. Ryan Pulse finds them all over. The place. Who's the standout left tackle from last year's draft that did so well in the pros? I know. I know. They got Darnell Wright last year, yeah. number ten. I said left tackle. Look, I don't. Have, it's not. I don't care where the Cardinals play Paris Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> that, ain't, that, ain't, that ain't that ain't my business. You got to bring that up with Jonathan Gannon. I don't got anything to do with that. All right, all right. That's it. All right. Roman Dunze wins. I had Joe Alt. We always appreciate you taking the time. Tune in every Wednesday at five thirty p.m. on NBC Sports Chicago. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Congrats, you finished the video. If you want to build on that success, download the NBC Sports Chicago app. It's got highlights, exclusive insights, and push alerts tailored to you. Everything you need to be a real Chicago sports fan. Download it now.